Kalimera guys, this is Elena from Elena the Expat and today I want to show you the apartment in which we've been vacationing in Idra. Come on in! Hey there! Come on up the stairs. There are a lot of stairs in Idra and our apartment is no exception. But the views are fabulous. So this is the terrace just before we enter the house. Uh, we sometimes have here coffee or, you know, uh, some, some breakfast. There's another table, lots and lots of flowers. And a uh, typical Greek thing, uh, a stretcher to uh, dry your clothes. Uh, the weather is fantastic, so the clothes dry up really, really fast. And we also have a rooftop. Let's go, I'll show it to you. This is the rooftop. Um, our host, Andy, said it's not finished yet, but I feel like it has this um, uh, very rough magic to it. You can sit here, soak in the sun, look at the church. By the way, this is something that wakes us up uh, uh, regularly, especially on Sunday mornings. And here we have the house cat. Now let's come see the house. It's uh, a little bit messy because we've been living here like a week and we are ready, getting ready for the beach. Uh, but yeah, uh, I wanna, I'm gonna show it. I really love the apartment. I think it gives this very nice um, beach house type of vibe. We are really comfortable here. We have everything that we need. This is the living room slash the kitchen. It's a studio type of thing. Um, so here, a big table for everything. We have this huge TV. Uh, have the IC, although in October you didn't really need to use it at all. And uh, this is my favorite table. I feel like here we have the best breakfast ever, especially in the morning when it's a little bit chilly outside. I'm sitting here, Eugene here, and we are just admiring all the plants. By the way, you might have paid attention that Greeks really love their flowers and plants that are everywhere. And in the evening we migrate to this very comfortable couch and uh, watch some YouTube, watch some videos. Um, there's another table, very nice. You can move it around. And then here is uh, the kitchen. Uh, we mostly only cook breakfast, so it's a bit small, but it's fine for the purpose that we have. We have the fridge here, by the way, when we came, it was full of different stuff like milk and bread. So Greeks are very hospitable and they always uh, give you something extra. Also, uh, for the times when we do get hungry in the evening, bars, cereals and everything else in between, uh, cooking oil, salt, everything was there. Uh, we have cutlery, some oh, pots, pans, everything ready for some light cooking. You'll definitely not have like everything, everything that you need, but I feel like if you want to do like toast and um, you know, maybe fry something or boil something, it will be here. Uh, by the way, we also have a toaster and um, <laughs> like three types of different coffee machines, which is really interesting. Uh, we are using this one and this is the stove, uh, lots of glasses, here is a bit messy. We basically put our garbage and some water and the coffee machine, but I wanted to show you the view from here. Oh, the church that has been waking us up in the morning. <laughs> uh, the belfry here on, on the top, there are strings and the string man like plays the bells. In theory, it's quite nice. In practice, like when you wake up at seven in the morning, not so nice. Now we are going into 
uh, an important room where we do spend some time and I feel like the bathroom is like it's really important that it's clean it's well organized and I feel like this one is with one small exception and that is the walk-in shower <laughs> you know my thoughts about walk-in showers um, ideally they're really beautiful in practice there's some water spillover uh, but the shower is new then they have a nice toilet then you have the sink and the mirror and all sorts of things that you might need here the only thing that we brought with us the rest the shampoo the shower gel the sunscreen everything was here and i guess the most important thing is that we do have our own washing machine um, and washing powder uh, which makes you know staying somewhere really comfortable as you don't need to bring lots of clothes you can just you know do a cycle of washing and be fine with that and again in greece uh, the weather is really warm so everything dries up quickly now to the most important room amazing big comfortable bed uh, now i sleep on that side eugene sleeps here uh, we also have a small tv although we haven't been really watching it uh, then a dressing table a uh, wardrobe where i keep all of my clothes um two windows uh, one thing about greek houses is that they have thick walls but they have really thin windows so in the morning or in the evening you can hear everything that is happening outside and i think it's also true for people outside kind of hearing what's happening in the bedroom so you have to be really quiet and the houses are very close to one another we do have an amazing view here look at this now almost every day around noon there is a a new tour group or <laughs> two or three and uh, they come here apparently it's tied to the movie boy and dolphin with sophia loren and everybody's taking photos here but we have this amazing view day in and day out it does get a little bit hot in during the day so we close the shutters I feel like uh, the bedroom doesn't have to be super sunny. It has to be like cool and shaded so you have a good night's sleep here. I hope you enjoyed. We have only the best impressions about the apartment and the hosts have been so hospital that I would definitely recommend the apartment. You'll find the context in the video description. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, we're going to the beach.